After many, many, many hours of grinding, I finally unlocked the final mastery camo in Modern Warfare 2. At this point, I unlocked literally everything that you can unlock with the haunting event. I unlocked like that one weapon blueprint for doing all the stuff in Warzone, like defeating all the bosses. And then I unlocked like literally everything on that checklist sheet besides the one tier skip and the two weapon unlock tokens, just because like, I mean, I don't need those. I have every single weapon in the game max level already, and I finished the battle pass. But anyways, as you can see here, here is the final mastery camo in Modern warfare 2 and it's pretty cool it's sort of like glow in the dark so when you're in light as you can see it's like it's green and purple and it looks really cool there but whenever you're in like a darker environment like the darker that it gets i don't know how dark we'll actually be able to get it but basically it'll get to a point of where the entire camo goes black except for the purple and the purple will like take over the entire weapon and start like surging through it not only does this camo fit pretty well with the whole halloween theme but yeah when it comes to like a final mastery camo for a call of duty game i think this is pretty good we've had a bunch of these throughout modern warfare 2's life cycle and i am proud to say that i I went through and unlocked literally every single special mastery event camo which means that i can now say i have completed modern warfare 2 there's a few odds and ends that i'm missing like i could go through and do that thing where like uh you, you there's like these calling cards you can unlock by using gold on like a certain weapon and getting like 500 kills with that i don't know it's not actually 500 kills but you know it's still something ridiculous regardless it's like 100 or 200 kills or something like that but you use like gold on each weapon then you get a calling card for that and then you have to equip platinum and do that again and then uh polyatomic and do it again at that point it's kind of just unnecessary and again it's only for a calling card that i'd never use anyway since it's tied to just each specific weapon and I already have like calling cards and emblems and such that I use. So as far as I'm concerned, I've completed Modern Warfare 2 because I've unlocked literally every single camo that you can unlock. So I I'm good in my book. I apologize for my bedhead, by the way. When I wake up in the morning, I literally don't do anything. Like I, I get dressed and then I sit down and play video games. At this point, I'll probably just be like chillaxing with the Call of Duty videos for a bit. At least when it comes to like Modern Warfare 2 videos, I'll still be making like custom zombies videos and stuff like that on Black Ops 3. But when it comes to like Modern Warfare 2 content in particular, I don't know when the next time will be that I'll make a Modern Warfare 2 video because next we have the Modern Warfare 3 campaign going up, which I'm not going to be making any videos on that. When it comes to me and like single player games, I like to just, you know, I don't really like to record my first time playing it. I'd rather sit down and get immersed in the game and like experience it for myself. That's why I don't hop on the trends and make videos on all the new games because like I'm playing all the new games. Like I already played Super Mario Wonder and Spider-Man 2 and back when like, you know, like Dead Space Remake and Resident Evil 4 Remake were coming out, everybody was asking me to make videos on that, but... That's just not really my thing. I don't really like hopping on the trends and just like, you know, making videos or whatever of my first time playing games. I'd rather just, again, sit down, enjoy it, get immersed in it without, you know, recording it. Because when you record it, then it kind of like keeps your brain from actually getting fully invested in the game. I was talking about it in my last Modern Warfare 2 video, but it was actually also officially confirmed that the early access will be going live on November 2nd, like I was talking about. I feel so dumb. I was about to hop into Warzone and use like that new ghoulie camo so that I could show it off to all the dweebs as I absolutely decimate them, but I forgot to put it on and I'm still rocking Orion, but it is what it is. I'm actually really digging this lockdown mode. I never really played it before. I think I played it like one time when it first came into the game, but that was it. But now I've, you know, I've been grinding it like crazy for the souls. And honestly, it is a lot of fun. It's basically just like hardpoint on a larger scale. It's almost like a ground war version of hardpoint, sort of, but it's not because it's Warzone. And the best part is that I like literally everybody sucks that plays this mode. <laughs> Like, 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 they're so terrible. Basically, this mode just kind of devolves into drop in, shoot people, and then just try to take over the objective. And, you, you know, if you feel the first time, then just keep dropping until you make it. Because, I mean, you know, that, that's really all you can do. It's just, you know, it's pretty simple. Again, most of the people that you play with are probably going to suck. I'm pretty sure literally everybody playing this mode right now is just dropping in to grind out souls. Thankfully, I already did all that, so I don't got to worry about it now. I'm getting really scared for Modern Warfare 3. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm still excited for the game, and I know it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm just thinking more and more about that camo grind uh there they were saying that there's only going to be like 30 weapons at launch for, you know not counting the modern warfare 2 weapons which is a little low for like a launch of a call of duty game so there's one of two things that could happen right either one since there's not that many weapons the challenge goes by really fast and unlocking the final camo is going to be really freaking easy or they make the challenges really hard to accommodate for the lack of weapon count and it's gonna be like one of the worst challenges yet. I mean, I can't say objectively worse because, you know, obviously that's pretty subjective, but I, I mean, I feel like we can all agree that long shots are objectively monotonous. So by that standard, they could revert it back to like MW 2019 or Vanguard and make us do like 100 long shots for every single weapon, which... 
No. I mean, the worst part is that no matter how quote unquote bad they make the challenges, I'm still gonna do it regardless. It could literally make us do like 500 long shots per weapon, and I'd still go in and do the camo. It's just look, like, man, I, I've i been playing Call of Duty for so long. I've been doing these camos for so long. It's just, it's, it's too late to give up now. And the thing is, you know, I talk all the smack, but I don't force myself to do this stuff, right? Like, I actually enjoy going for the camos. I enjoy grinding. That's just, that's how I am. If there's a game I enjoy, and if there's a grind that I want to go for, you know, I don't care how monotonous or egregious the grind is. You know, I'll, I'll do it. Like I was saying, you literally just drop on the same area time after time again, and then once you clear out the enemies, they'll give up, and uh, kind of just devolves into this. I mean, we're chilling. Uh, I guess there's some people trying to approach us. I don't know. I'm just kind of sitting here. I don't, I don't even have to, like, touch the controller. I mean, I'm just sitting here with a riot shield. Like, we're all good. I'm not sure where our other teammates are at. You know, we're a squad of four, but it's only me and this other dude holding down this point, but I mean, you know, we're doing just fine. <sighs> Every time I yawn, I feel like a cat. I saw a bunch of YouTube shorts of people trying to go to, like, Zaya Observatory and Almazra to try to grind out the salt. Man, I feel bad for anybody that actually did the 1,000 souls that way. I can't believe we're at the end of MW2's life cycle already. Like, you know, before MW2 came out, we were expecting this game to last like two years. You know, we thought we'd be playing it until Treyarch's game in 2024. Obviously that didn't end up happening, but you know, it just, it, it doesn't even feel like it's been a year since this game came out, but like it, it has. As far as multiplayer is concerned, I mean, I don't know. I don't know anything about like zombies or Warzone yet. Like we do know some things, but it's very limited info. At the very least, I'm excited for this year of like multiplayer, especially after playing that beta. Goodbye. There's just something about Sledgehammer Call of Duties, man. They're just, they're so fast, they're snappy, they're arcadey, and furthermore, you like, we all know that Sledgehammer listens to the community. My biggest concern for this year really is just the zombies, because as you guys probably know, I'm a huge fan of zombies, specifically like round based zombies, and while I like Outbreak and other modes similar to that, I won't lie, I'm a little skeptical, but you know, I'll give it a shot. I just, I know that it's not going to pull me in the same way that normal round based zombies would. And even if I do end up playing it a good bit throughout the year, it definitely won't be on that same level as something like round based zombies. It's seeming like it's going to be similar to DMZ. And while DMZ is cool, it's just, it's one of those game modes where it's like, I'll play it on occasion, but it's not something that I've been like religiously playing throughout the year. Extraction shooters as a whole seem like one of those things where it was trying to be the next battle royale craze, but it just, it wasn't. Like, these guys suck so bad. Well, time to get posted up with my rod shield. Hey, look, it's the same dude from before. Hey, what's up, Reaper? Yup, me and you. We'll, we'll hold this objective down. I literally don't even need to use my brain while I play this mode. Whatever, I got him down. That's all that I care about. Anyways, yeah, at this point, I fully completed Modern Warfare 2, and uh, I don't know, it's, it's just full steam ahead for Modern Warfare 3 at this point. Uh, when it comes to Call of Duty videos again, uh, if there is any Call of Duty videos on the channel, which there will be, uh, it'll just be like custom zombies videos mainly. Otherwise, when it comes to like, current Call of Duty stuff, probably don't expect too much, if anything, until Modern Warfare 3, unless they end up dropping some sort of crazy update and adding new stuff to the event or new camos or anything like that, but... I don't think that's going to happen, so, yeah. But anyway, as always, a massive shout-out. Thank you to all the patrons and channel members. Thank you to all of you in the low-ball tier. New biggest shout-out. Thank you to all of you in the big-ball tier. Mel Oscar, and me, Danny Manny, and the biggest shout-out. Thank you to all of you in the GTA run event. Sam Lynch, Thank you guys so much. You guys are literal legends. I love you. Thank you guys for watching. Have an amazing day. Stay beautiful. I love you all. Peace.